Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Floyd Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. So OJ got paroled today. And I find it interesting too because I don't know where to go on this situation. You know, do I uh, applaud because so many black men are overcharged on Trump charges and he got out after nine years? Or do I remember when he says, I'm not black, I'm OJ? You know, uh, and obviously that um that's pretty prominent now because of the jay-z album so i'm kind of perplexed and kind of lost but what i will say is um how they always say he was a murderer when actuality he beat that case and it, it, it's ironic that so many people introduce oj well not literally introduce him but when you think of oj you think of him actually killing Nicole and the other guy that that was murdered. You don't introduce him as the football player, the robber. I mean, got for the robbery because he got off and um, he did nine years for a robbery of his stuff, which is pretty ironic. You know, obviously it's a double jeopardy thing going on, but but you know, so I have yet to watch it. I don't know what he said. I didn't listen to it yet. Because I assumed that he was getting out because the camera crews were there. If the camera crews is there, that's leading up into a TV show or something like that. So, but let me know what you guys think, especially my black brothers out there. Where do you where do you go with OJ in terms of him getting released? Do you celebrate it? Do you just sit still? Are you angry? Like, I don't know where I stand. I'm literally indifferent. You know, I... Uh, and and it, bo it not bothers me, but I don't understand why people are so fascinated with a 70-year-old man. <laughs> you know, I didn't watch it today. I didn't even listen to the interviews. At all. I mean, listen to him speak at all. Um, but obviously, it, OJ is trending right now, probably everywhere in the world. So he's, so, he's still polarizing. But uh, whoever gives OJ a chance will have... The highest rated show on TV, especially, I mean, well, it won't be done this summer, but imagine if he goes back to NBC and does football. That would be pretty funny. Or M NBC, yeah, they don't have football. Oh, yeah, they do. NBC, it does Sunday Night Football. Um, that's all I got, but I don't know where I go with this. I don't know. Honestly, I'm literally indifferent on OJ. Like, anyways, man. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think, and maybe you guys can convince me to lean one way or the other. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.